So this is, first off, it's shirt day. This is the shirt that John and I both have. It drives John crazy when he wears it the same day uh, I do. So he has to keep track so he doesn't, when I wear it, so he doesn't have to, uh, he knows when it's safe to wear. Ironically, so today, he managed not to be wearing the same shirt that I have, and yet he comes in today and look what kind of shirt he's wearing. He's wearing Brian's shirt. <laughs> Which means now I have to start. Start a Brian shirt. <laughs> it's May. It is right. Thursday. This is how we're impacting John's wardrobe. Black shirt. <laughs> By the way, my mom doesn't listen to the show, but this is my mom's favorite part. Yeah, is she's like, I get a chance to see your hair. I get a chance to see show. Tom. Yeah. Tom's hair. <laughs> Always wonders why I didn't talk. Right. She wants yeah, right. to say anything. So it's good to be back. And we're struggling to find a what is known as a kicker story today. That's a small story to end the show with. Um, and then the other thing I realized is that Brian struggles every single day, and then you and I just talk right through stuff. <laughs> exactly. He's like, not how we plan, but okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. But I, I thought we were going to talk about oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal. Yeah. Oatmeal, yes. Normally I hate McDonald's, mm -hmm. and I tell my kids to hate McDonald's, I tell everybody to hate McDonald's, do 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 I'm puking in it. <laughs> but I have to say something. Tom, take a look at the... Yeah, Number generous. Of, look at the generous chunks of fruit. Where's your oatmeal, raisins? Brian? I didn't bring it. Hold it up. It's there in that white glass. Look how thin his is compared to mine. <laughs> look at that. Seriously, Tom. Yeah. If that, it wasn't in the McDonald's impressive. thing, you wouldn't know, right? And for only eight bucks. It's like a dollar fifty. Is that right? No one wants it. No one usually buys it. It's great. Watch this. Oh, I know. <laughs> you missed the fruit. I got a piece. <laughs> That's called TV eating. Yeah. That's the that's classic right. Carnegie Mellon TV eating. Yeah. You don't want to put too much in it and then you're right. Trip. So just yeah. a small like. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So I even took a class on how to eat gum on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? How do you eat gum on you camera? You take a stick of gum and you unwrap it and you put it into your mouth. It goes in. Well, let's, let's say this was gum. It has to go in like this uh -huh. and you lift your tongue up and you place it in. So it would fold underneath your tongue, so it, it'll fold into two places and goes in. Because if not, you're like, you know, hey, you want a piece of gum? Yeah, sure. That's the way most people do. But if you're a trained actor, it goes in under the tongue. I still have oatmeal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Clean your mouth of oatmeal, and then it goes. This is too big. This is a stick of gum. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna put it in the trap. Ah. Wow. And and how I, long was the class? It was two days. <laughs> <laughs> but you see how it folds up? It folds. Yeah, I see. The gum yeah. will literally fold as That's it goes good. in, so it's important to get that top piece to fold. Yeah. It's a two-day class. Or you just have a big mouth like me. You just cram no, no, the no, thing no, in there. It has to go in no underneath. Okay. I remember signing up for it and thinking, well, I am on my way. <laughs> well, I thought you were teaching it. You just no, no, no. took the class. <laughs> Obviously, I can't teach it. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Now you All know. All right.